Okay, here's that club again. Is this the crazy lady? What was up with all this stuff here? I'm like, I don't know, it's crazy. I saw it? It's pretty cool. Hey, look, it's me. Uh oh. What? Where am I? Where's my mind going? The golden butterfly. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Car. Someone out of a car. Yeah, what was up with that ring too? And that other one. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Metal instrument. Is it the same dude? I don't know. Okay. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. <laughs> my partner, after all. Such enthusiasm. What do we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Okay. Okay, Sunset Boulevard. So. Oh, hello. Who? You following me? Get away from me. Ugh, I don't like this guy. He freaked me out. Let's get to our car. Well, you don't see that every day. What? A wall? Yeah, you don't. You don't see those every day. Hey, hey, me first, sir. That's my car. <laughs> I think they say that a lot. This is another guy says it. All right, let's see if we can get there without killing us. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not Thank bad you. for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. Oh. You might get along after all. <laughs> I hope so, dude. I don't want to, like, be his enemy. Uh, hopefully this is the right way. I went up. I assume that we need to go up and not into the tunnel. Wait, which way is it? This way? Yes! Did it! Wait, which way did I go? Crime scene to 49 now, a.m. boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. Hmm. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you matter. don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Hmm. Dude, I wonder if there is, like, a serial killer. Detective, uh. I was first on scene. Yeah? You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reported. Ugh. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. The pepper tree? So, hey, what's going on? The heck's a pepper tree? All these cars. Okay. It's gotta be something big. Anyway. I wonder if it's gonna be the same shape as the other one. I hope not. Again, I wonder if this is like like the same thing. Oh, it is in the same shape. Sorry, I'm gonna have to much help you, blur it out. Sorry, guys. I'm saying, dude, there's like a serial killer at large. There she is. This. Wait. Whoa. She's like a, okay. Similar remote. The what? The Dahlia? 
I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. <laughs> All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. No, not 11. That was someone else. Okay, let me examine the body. What is up with the this? The stopping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. Is it the same though? Can I? Is that it? Oh, okay. About the neck. Whoa, there, cowboy. Okay, so torso, head. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Hmm. Rope marks distinctive. Um. Thing. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. That's not good. This is weird. This is very similar to the other like, one. Uh, Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Uh. That's true. Missing jewelry. Wait, what about fingernails? Fingernails look Never the same. dirty. Okay. Um. So we have torso, head, arms. I think that's it. Okay. Well then. Anything else? Can we discuss this later? Yeah. Wait. What's? Wait. What about the shoes? Are these the same size? They were size 8, weren't they? they don't walk right on top of the evidence, what the heck? <laughs> uh, did they do a cast yet? Uh, I don't know. Okay. What was this? Her purse. They always leave the purse behind. Let's see. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by r and I? Back in a second. Deirdre Muller, Parent Teacher Association. Hmm. Anything else? What, just money? The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Yeah, well, it's not robbery. Anything else in there? No. Okay. So Detective. there's... Uh, R&I says that Deirdre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. what I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <laughs> Never the same, are they? What about the shoe size? I mean, did they take care of that? Oh, gosh. Dental. Just a cigarette. Just a bottle. Not much help. You never know. You never know. Oh gosh. Dang, where are you going, sir? Parkour. No, I already looked at this. I guess that's about it. Okay, well, we will. I think we'll just go ahead and get going. Doesn't seem to be anything else really left here, so let's hop in the vehicle and get going. I, like I said, I don't think there's really anything else to see. Oh, he's already in the car. He's just chilling. Okay, so we need to go see the husband. Yeah.
to see the husband. Uh, let's go. I kind of just want to go up this mountain. That'd be so funny. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do that. Oh, we need to go right anyway. Okay. Oops. Still might be some playing the away from me. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. Oh. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Wait, where? Let's see. Maybe we'll finally do one of these to the left. Ah, I just don't think they're worth it. Like I said, they're usually pretty boring, so I'm not gonna waste your time with that. Anyway, sorry I had to cut it there. That I, I had a, like a text right there. I completely forgot to turn my phone off. I usually remember to turn it off, so sorry about that. It was unprofessional of me. Um, oh shoot. Uh, 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 I want to turn, but there's like a thousand cars. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this. Uh, I wonder if this is a serial killer because don't you think it's kind of odd that like the weapon and everything was kept um, at that guy's house? Like he just had it sitting in a trunk. Like that was kind of convenient, and then we just kind of easily like wrapped it up like it was no big deal. Like I think that was all kind of a bit too convenient. So. I don't know about that. I I think this is the same killer. Ah, uh, your mom taught me. What do you think about that? Um. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Excuse me, sir. No, I don't know about you, but I feel more comfortable with the siren on. What do you think? Really? Was he like joking? I don't know. I I think I would like the siren on because I'm driving with a man. Might as well just turn aside when I made people get out of my way. Um, yeah, anyway. Did they really get out of your way? That'd be interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, I think that... I don't know. I, I think there is a serial killer. And because that, like, the murder looks exactly the same. Like, I mean, of course you could be a copycat killer, but like, I don't know. It seems too convenient. Um, okay, here we go. Mahler residence, 11.23 a.m. So I doubt it's the husband, because he called it in, and the wedding ring and stuff was stolen. Something about the rings, the jewelry. We never found her ring, like, like that giant ring that she had. So, like, we never found that. I don't know. Who's this? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Daughter? Is your father home? He'll be home soon. Aw. He's been out looking for mommy. Aw. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. This sucks. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? <laughs> We're going to have a look around. Oh, man. Poor girl. I think that sucks. I'll be back in Oh, at least he's not being a good total jerk about it. Uh, what's this say? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Don't forget mom's birthday. Aww, this makes me sad. This sucks. Cookies. An empty glass. Okay, we'll just leave that there. It seems to always be the uh the room is usually like. Where all the juicy stuff is. What size shoe is this? Is there mud on it? Work boots. Size, size eight. Eight. Wasn't that the murder victim? I mean, wasn't that the last one? They were size eights. Hmm. Don't know why I looked at the other one, but whatever. Uh. Let's see, ring. Is it Tiffany's again? This looks like the same thing. No sign of a wedding ring. It's not Tiffany's, though. Okay. Um. 
What about this? Some other kind of jewelry. Elven Thing. wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Yeah. Okay. Um just those two. Okay. Uh what bag is that? I don't know. Um oh gosh, I'm like hung in a corner. <laughs> I was trying to move. Uh we've looked at all those things. Um what else is there? This is the girls' room, probably. Violin. I'll pick it up. This is a weird angle. Is there something on it? Like it seems weird that it's like this close up. I guess not. Probably nothing. Um I'll just read her diary. It's not doesn't look like anything. Yeah, I just probably shouldn't be messing around with that. Um What else is there? What's that? That looks weird. Uh, I don't think anything's in here. It's just, you know, the girls' room. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, anything in here? Yeah, I think that's it. How do you tell her? It's about mommy. Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Dang, I think she did. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, sure, why not? Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Oh, she, I, I doubt that. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. Uh oh. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Hmm. What? Where did I get an X? Whatever. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I don't know why she's looking around for truth, I guess. I mean... And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. What? Was she not telling the truth? Dang it. I, I can't just look at the freaking eyes. Look at the freaking eyes. Just say that it's a doubt. <laughs> your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Nope. The eyes. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. Ooh. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Mommy always wore her golden butterfly. Golden. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Hey! What kid? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. That's so weird a month. Um, <laughs> alibi? So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Mm, I'm going to say that's a lie. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. 
I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Uh, uh, yes. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Sweet, I did it. Um. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around nine thirty. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. He's super jubby. I, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. He's kind of little, looks a bit nervous, but he could just be upset, you know? I don't know. Should I just do truth? Was your wife unreliable? No. I ah, got it wrong. Okay. Maybe it was doubt then. I don't know. Okay, footprints. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Eight. Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Mm, no, there's a uh, size eight. Why are you lying about that? Uh, size eight. Yeah, that's a lie. You are a size Why eight. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? You have size eight. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Your experience? What? All right, uh, <laughs> movements of victim? Yeah. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. He looks kind of nervous about that. Nah, I doubt that. What happened, Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped through there. Did you try the parking lot? Okay, that was... No, it's not right. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true. God damn it. Uh, that's obviously a lie because your freaking daughter said that you beat him. Can I? If I say lie, though, why can't I say it here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in LA. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Wait, what? Hello? Detective! Uh, hello? Shut up. I'm not even in front of you. Okay, I was in front of you. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, 
There he is now. What the heck? What's he doing? Uh, Step away from the incinerator. Shoot. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Dang it. Jump it. Dang it, that was the worst jump ever. Dab to tackle. I'm trying to tackle. Oh, there you go. What are you doing? His shoes? What's he? What? Oh. This doesn't look good, Hugo. Uh. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central Office. What? Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. Uh, Hugo? The cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... No one's home and... You need lying. somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but... I doubt in Acresfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. You got to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Lock the door. Okay, let's make a call. You, you look at this clown. You shut up. Jerry's down in tackle. Homicide Division. Badge number 564. Phelps, four. badge 1247. <laughs> Did we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to I need an address on a Belmont North High School. Bonnie Bray Street. Checking for you, Send detective. Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Belmont High, 1175 West 2nd Street. Thanks, ma'am. I don't think there's gonna be much there. solving all the cases. That's me. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please morgue downtown when he's available. Dang, I just wait. I Got it, KGPL. Oh wait, go there. Oh, not on the phone. Okay. Well, we should go. We should check the high school real quick. I feel like this is going to be a dead end. I don't feel like there's going to be anything here. Belmont High School. I wonder where the corner is. Over here? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go here real quick. It's not that far away anyway. And then... Uh, wait, is that the actual... Is that the police? That are, what's interesting in here? Like, they're about to be here. That's cool. Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, like... Ah! Oh, that was really close. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I kind of doubt that she ever went to the high school. Like, he seemed to believe that she did. You know, I didn't make the husband. Always make the husband, fellas. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. <laughs> Appreciate it. Try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, wait. We're probably just supposed to walk like five Heaven. inches forward. Heavens? What do you mean, heavens? Isn't he the oh. cop they've been talking about on the radio? Uh, uh we're supposed to go in here. Oh, pfft. Derp. I'm gonna go with the flowers. Emmy. It's the first season since fabric rationing's over. We have to go. I told you I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? The heck? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the Hold car on. and see if I can cut him off. Wait, what? Why are we chasing this guy? I feel like this is just a kid, like... In love with the girl or something. I don't think this is a big deal. Oh, pfft. nope, don't do that. Who's honking? That our dude? Uh, why are we chasing this little kid? Let's get the kid from Bully. Come on. Let's get him. What? Should I shoot him? I think we should shoot him. Don't run him over. <laughs> he looks dangerous. It's just a kid. There he is. See him? Yeah, I see him. He's right in freaking front of me. Okay. Track, pull out in front of him. 
I thought that would. Oh, I can tackle from that way. Okay. Oh shoot! Look at him go. Tackle. Tap it. Oh, I can tap it. Oh snap! It's like a burst of energy. Tap it. Tap. tap, tap, tap Finally. Gosh. Okay. I didn't know you had to tap it. My bad. We're just running for years. That it gives them like a little like speed burst. Boost. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing fields. Eleven K code two. So her car is here. What's your name? Who's asking? Oh, it's not a kid. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Ugh. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Oh my god. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the rip. Oh shoot, sorry. Okay, why does he have the butterfly brooch? Brooch, whatever. How, you say How the heck you say that word? <laughs> what? What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night. After school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Interesting. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. There's the rope. Uh, there's the object. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Chrysler. Okay. And then her clothes. Ew. The no. overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, we need to call Central for sure. Anything on the inside, in the front? Anything missing? It all seems to be fine. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Oh, that was weird. The sun, like, freaks out when she gets to a certain spot. Look at that. That's weird. The heavens are opening. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, let's go see what they have to say about that. That Okay, this is weird. There's two people with, like, different things. And who's HM? What the heck? Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central Ooh. for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thank you. Okay. We need to go interrogate some fools. Ugh. If I can get off this wall. All right. Let's go. My car is so dirty. Hey, let's go to the morgue first. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for this. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a good I don't idea. know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't. 
Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? All you missed in the vicinity in any century, and a 211 is shot as far. Uh, this close at all? That's not that far away. Let's go do the street crime. I never do the street crime. Let's go do this one. Let's see what's up. Oh gosh, I'm gonna cut right in front of you. Ha ha! Okay. Oh gosh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that was really close. Okay. Anyway. Gosh. Okay, so one guy has a brooch. The other guy was disposing evidence. I don't think it was a child molester, dude. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, my. Unsuccessful. Tables have turned now, haven't they, boys? <laughs> hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. Hey. Oh, Ain't what? gonna last long in a tin shack. Oh wait, They're, are we gonna have a shootout here? Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Wait, they're just in the shack. God damn it, they went down there. What? Oh gosh. Okay, well this is bad. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is freaking. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, okay. Damn, man, this is a thirty-dollar suit. <laughs> Ow, look at those bullet holes in it. Find some cover. No, I'm gonna push him. Oh. oh gosh, I don't have a bullet left. That's not good. My hat's in the way. Okay, there's three of them right there. Shoot. Uh, let me cover here. Go, no, just go to the left. Come on. Who's shooting? How do you start shoulders? What, what what is happening here? Okay. Come on, Phelps. Stop. After you. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Sorry. I would hate to go down here. Whoa! What the heck? Wait, is it? Who's he? Okay. That's the other one. That was really cool. I think this one behind me. Wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, no, don't, don't run on the track. 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 Watch out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, just trying to look behind me. I was like, no! I thought I was going to get him right over. That was pretty cool. That was, that was actually an interesting side mission. I like that, how this it went down there. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance. And coroner. Yeah. K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units 11K reports code 4 on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, code 4. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, we did that. That was very interesting. And that was pretty fast. Oh boy, that was very reckless. Sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that was uh, one of those side mission things done. That one was more interesting. I feel like some of them are just kind of boring and kind of pointless, you know? But that was, I mean, it's pretty short, but um, it's okay though. I just think that this game, it's like, it's trying to be an open world, but it doesn't really do a great job of it. That That's the same problem with, um, with Mafia 2. I think it's worse than Mafia 2, but that game is just like, it's a linear game, but then they just kind of disguise it in this seemingly open world. But it's really just a lot of like driving from one place to the next, which again is kind of what was happening here. There's nothing really super interesting in the open world. Um, the driving definitely makes it feel, you know, not as boring. But um, and that was the part of Mafia too, was the driving was just awful on PC at least. Um, but like, it's just this is. Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of like, there's not really anything to do in the open world. Nah, we're not doing that. We're, we're all the way here. 
Where is it? <laughs> Maybe I can see if we can. Uh, oh, what is happening here? Maybe I can see if we're close or something. What do we get out? Central Morgue 616, if it's still there. I don't know if they stay. Put me all ye who are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. That's the verse. Okay. <laughs> Night entrance. Okay. I didn't really notice that last time we were here. Okay, so. What do we have here? Phelps? Rusty? Oh, Thanks gosh. coming. Sorry. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Oh, did he already get to the other thing? Eight. Okay, those are the shoes. The shoe prints? <laughs> Size eights, very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Unless someone's just planting evidence on everyone, though, you know? Like, that's definitely something that keeps happening. To manipulate an object. Wait. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats. Mooring lines. Yeah. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Ooh. That's weird. Is this the one? Should we try another one? What about this one? I think we got it the first time. Let's just double check. I'm sure because he said that, like, it was that one, but let's just double check. This is like a shoelace, yeah. So it's, it's the bottom one then. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Hmm. So it's either a minister <laughs> or a sailor. Where did he work? And what was up with that? Um, we found like the suit in the trunk. Unless that was hers. I don't think it was, was it? Not suit, but um, you know, the the work uniform. Mm. Uh so we need to go to the police station and interrogate some people. Um, okay. Well, that's not exactly the happiest of places to play in his office. Carruthers is a good Ooh. man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. Corners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Wait, someone's about to get... <laughs> Murder. Wait. Oh, that thing stopped. I thought that'd be kind of funny. No offense, but if uh, he got hit by the thing, <laughs> it was my fault. That'd be awful. A16 Central Police Station. Okay. Let's see what's up. Charge Better a suspect not go with soft murder. On me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowlers in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Okay, so we have to decide. Hey, can you Captain, give me a hand? I got we were on our way to interview right. Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll talk to him first. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Dude, dang. Is that, uh, did he do it? Dang. Uh, yeah, let's ask about you that. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? 
I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Isn't there anything else you can do? <laughs> I think it's still the truth. A farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid until I hitch and braid. It stays tight. <laughs> okay, I actually get it right. Interesting. Um... What size boot do you wear, Eli? I like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. He seems kind of flustered by that. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? But you must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. Oh, get that right. Okay. Um, place of employment. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Um, okay, he looks very nervous about that. Oh, wait, what about... Eh, eh, eh. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying eh over and over because I'm, like, moving the mouse. I have to do a bunch of swipes. I could just do W and S and anything about that. I'm trying to think of green work overalls, HM. I mean, what's, wait, what's this guy's name? Eli. Okay, it's not him. Should I use intuition here? I... I don't think he's lying, but I mean, I don't doubt him. 99.5% shows the correct answer after using an intuition point. I say remove it. Okay, I'm gonna go with doubt. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. HM. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. Oh my gosh. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Okay, that's very damning. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Dude, of, of course you did. You have the freaking brooch. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if you killed him, but you stole it. You're a liar, Eli. You needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around some, son. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? Oh, gosh. I have no clue. This, maybe? I done told you I found that pretty thing. I never stole it. Yeah, I about to say that was stupid. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have You're said that. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. I don't my know. money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Hugo Moller, so not him? He doesn't think it's him? Okay. I mean, I'm okay with... Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. <laughs> I'm going to say Bay Rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the Army.
I doubt it. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Ooh. Okay. Uh, disposal of evidence. Hey, what the heck were you doing? Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Oops. I'm gonna say truth on that. But look at his eyes. What's up my frame rate? It's freaking out. Ugh, gosh. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Do I doubt it? I and mean, of course he doubts it. Are you going to tell me what I want to know? Or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? You're at your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Yeah, he was telling the truth. Dang, I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, I should've just gone with it. Access to tire iron. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. Chrysler, wasn't it? I know nothing about any tire iron. Nah, you're lying. I don't know if I have anything to prove that you're lying, but... Found in tr I, uh, I say I doubt that. You're gonna die for this, Muller. Shoot. You better give me something if I'm gonna believe your story. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Hmm. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Where does he work? I'm like, why is he... Okay, I doubt it, whatever. It was you, Hugo. I'm offering you a chance to come clean on this. For the last time, I did not kill my wife. I shouldn't have said that so many freaking times. I should just the women don't find you handsome, said they should have really I believed it. Handy. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices in the place. What did we do? Any ideas? For my money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Him? That just been paid look about him? But, oh gosh. This is, okay, this is hard. What? My only thing, overalls are the dudes. Tire iron doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The other guy seems to know about rope. Why are his shoes bloody though? What if, what if the shoes were placed in his house and he was trying to burn them? Like you said, he, he knew no one would believe him. Michelle, uh, missing watching. Do I have to choose someone right now? I screwed that up. I probably should have said he was telling the truth. I don't know, guys. I think it's Eli. I don't think. I don't think it's Osman. Uh, let's see, intuition. Wait, do I have any points? Wait, go ahead. Oh, I don't have any points. Hmm. Charge a suspect with murder. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. My Keep talking. Someday you'll say hey, something intelligent. You think those vice boys get any on the side? What? Okay. I'm gonna talk to you. Not a loss. For my money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. I don't think it's him. <laughs> oh, Susie, you are is that? so bad. I think it is Eli. I 
think I've said about all what, I'm gonna say. What if I go back to Hugo? It doesn't make a lot of sense for him to have killed her, but I don't think it's impossible though. Why can't I talk to him? I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. I can't convict him though. Um, should I go talk to the Sergeant Jack guy or whatever? Let's go back in here. Let's talk to him. I don't know. I couldn't charge Eli. Right? I say let's charge him. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. I don't know. I kind of don't think it's either of them. Oh, gosh. I don't have to beat them. Ah, Phelps. Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. I don't know. I don't feel good about that. Four. Eli can't expect a warm welcome from Gav Donnelly. Hey, like zero. I, I, wow, I didn't damage anything. Cool. I found all the clues. That's cool. I don't know, guys. I don't. I I think there's a serial killer that is framing people. I think Eli is just a weirdo who happened to just pick up a brooch that he found, and then there was also just like I don't know why. Why was the pipe? Off a of Chrysler. And. I don't know. There's stuff like that. There's there's things that seem too convenient. And there's things. That just seem like. Not quite right. 